Sticker planners are one of the rarest items in the game. While they give insanely good loot, they're also insanely hard to get. But that's why in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest and best methods to be getting sticker planners as fast as possible in the Bee Swarm update. So without any further ado, here we go. All right, so starting off, there is a couple methods to be getting these sticker planners. And the first one I'll be covering is going to be the most efficient one. All right, you guys want a good way to get sticker planners? This is the method you want to use. Now, if you want to use this first method, you're actually going to have to join the hive hub because that's where it is now most people actually don't know that you can get sticker planners from this which is why it's actually kind of a good method and that's going to be this sticker quest machine now the sticker quest machine basically gives you sticker quests and while the quests are randomized so are the rewards and i just recently found out today that you can actually get sticker planners from the quest rewards they're kind of rare so far i am on quest 11 and i haven't gotten one yet so keep in mind there's no set quest where you're supposed to get them the beast Swarm wiki actually actually says that you can get them from quest 10 and up, but my Discord moderator was actually able to get one in eight quests. As you can see, here's a screenshot right now. One of them's kind of cut off, but the other one does show the rewards. So it is actually possible to get a sticker planner from doing these quests. And like I said, there's no set amount, so you're basically just gonna have to keep doing them until you get one. But I promise you, it's so worth the reward to grind these quests. Now moving on to method number two, which is actually still in the Hive Hub. And this one involves the sticker sprout. Now, of course, sticker sprouts spawn once every three hours, and while they're known for basically dropping stickers, there's another thing they can drop, and that's actually sticker planners. And I did actually watch this happen. I wasn't able to get recording or screenshots of it, but when you break a sticker sprout, it actually does have a chance to drop a sticker planner. Now, keep in mind, the chances of you getting it are somewhat rare, because while you're going to be trying to get this sticker planner, so are the other 25 people in the server. So you really are just going to have to try and get lucky, and hopefully, it spawns next to you, but make sure you're logging in every three hours to try and break this sticker sprout, not only just for the stickers, but because there is a chance you can get a sticker planner, which is so much more valuable than just some random sticker. So of course, this method isn't guaranteed, but it is still the second best method on the list. Now, moving on to method number three. Now, depending on who you are, this third method could actually be the most efficient and overpowered method to get sticker planners, because out of every single method I've mentioned in this video, only this one is actually guaranteed to give you a sticker planner 100% of the time. And in order to do it, you're actually going to have to click on the Robux shop and scroll down to the sticker planner. Now, of course, on it had to stick this method in here, of course. It's 100 Robux for one sticker planner, but one thing I'd like to say is it's actually kind of worth it. While 100 Robux is a lot, it's still a pretty good deal considering there's really no other method to be getting sticker planners reliably. So when it comes down to it, I actually would say that it is worth it to pay 100 Robux for a sticker planner, just only to a certain amount. If you're going to be spending Robux buying sticker planners, I wouldn't say go all out and buy 20 of them. Also because there's a limit of 10, so that's actually impossible. But I wouldn't actually say you want to buy all 10, and that's because while it does give stickers, of course you're going to get some new and cool stickers on like the second and third harvests, but after like the fifth and sixth harvests, you're basically just going to be getting the same stickers over and over again, and it's not really worth it. So if you'd like the most bang for your buck on this method, I would actually say just to buy three sticker planners, because that will give you a fair variety of stickers without getting giving you too many duplicates. Now, if you are one of the people who's insanely rich and wants to get every sticker possible, then by all means, go ahead and buy 10 of them. Spend a thousand Robux. Who do I care? The chances of you getting new stickers is kind of low, but it is possible. And I do have a goal to reach 75,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So since I did spend all day trying to figure out the best methods to get sticker planners, if this video actually ended up helping you out, it'd mean a lot to me if you could just help me out with my goal. And let's just make a small little goal of trying to reach 49,000 subscribers just by the end of the week. It'd really mean a lot to me, so thank you so much for watching. My next video is probably going to be on how to spawn sticker sprouts efficiently, so I'll see you guys in that video.